Hello everyone, this next diecast review will be on Kevin Harvick's 2001 GM Goodwrench Atlanta winner. This was not made in 164 scale ever by Action Racing, aka Lionel Racing Collectibles. This is a newly done diecast. I picked this up at Jack's. I picked it up two weeks ago. I meant to do a review on it two weeks ago. But I came down with a nasty, and I mean nasty, sinus infection. So, of course, now it gets pushed back to today. I am cranking out review after review after review this weekend to get everything out before I leave for Daytona for two weeks. God, I'm going to love Daytona for the Rolex. But, anyways, let's go on to the review here. This comes on to the NASCAR Classic box. It's a very generic box. There's no really specialty whatsoever. This says hood open, trunk open, but last time I checked, the 164s do not open with hoods or trunks whatsoever. And there's the back of the packaging. There's the barcode. You name it, you get the drill. Let's open it up. Yeah, I was in the zone to really get this and the Dale Earnhardt 164 at Jack's. Because I am trying to open this up without destroying the box. That's why I'm taking so long here. I was really impressed with how they did this. And looks like to me they did not screw it up. So, yippee. We got... I am literally trying to not destroy this box here. Bear with me here, people. You know what? Let's cut the video and let's go open the box. All right, success. I did not destroy the box. Hooray. Anyways, voila. Here's the die cast out of its box. And right off the bat, I can tell they did a nice job on this thing. I mean, just a sheer amount of dirt on the front and rubber buildup on the front of the car is amazing. The camera is not picking it up, at least on my end. But you'll see it on the big screen on your devices as well that this thing is really nicely well done. Um, overall, I think this is one of their star race versions. You know, like this is one of them that I really think they did a good job on. And I do notice that they must have thrown this against the floor or something like that. But there is some bare metal being exposed on the rear spoiler. And one thing I did notice too on the 124 scales. And by the way, um... Nice, nice, uh, nice suspension there. These tires are hanging like a certain male body part that I'm not allowed to say in the video. Absolutely terrible. What? Ugh. Not good execution on Lionel's part here on this diecast. And I thought I was going to do most of the classic ones that came out recently. And uh, this, this this totally kills the vibe here. I mean, look at this. That is completely unacceptable. I mean, I paid 11 bucks for this sucker. This is uh, it's not good. Not a good look. Anyways. Front of the car has got a... There's no mesh grill on the front here, but there's one on top here. This is a sticker, though. And... The amount of rubber buildup on the hood here is amazing. I mean, I really do like it. And you got the roof, fla roof flaps here, which I did not expect them to be, to be painted on there, but they are painted on there indeed. Um, there's no TV pod whatsoever on this car. The windshield stickers, windshield banners are here too. Not banners, you know, like the little tape that protects the sun glare. That's where it is, right there. Um, there's some rubber buildup here. I think we can go a little more in detail with this car. Yes, maybe we get more detail here. Now that I just zoomed in. Spot on. Fantastic. I love it. I love it. Um, got all the sponsors back here. Got the Safety Queen logo back there. Even Kevin Harvick's name's printed correctly. That I'm shocked about because they seem to can't print things right anymore. 
Chevrolet logo looks sad. Um, a little bit of um, decal buildup back here. Yeah. That's pretty much it. I think the vibe was totally killed with their quality control department. I was really excited to review this diecast until I saw this. That just kills the vibe for me. It makes it look like a cheap plastic toy, which it, which honestly it is. I cannot disagree with those people that say, well, it's just toys. They are. That's what they become. And it's sad. I mean, this is coming from a guy who collects these now. Night and day. Oh, what joy. Then you wonder why I do not purchase these anymore. I only purchase a certain ones per, per year because I go to Jackson. I support them, which they're a great business, by the way. Go, so, go check them out. They're a really nice store. But I think the vibe was killed by Lionel's quality control here. I mean, this is just absolutely dreadful. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I think that... Um, I was all excited going into this video, and I think it was just completely killed. What a stupendous job on their part. Really, A-plus quality. What a great job. And even the 124 scales, the, um, the rear tail light is half-ass out. Even kind of on this one, but it's more so on the 124, like the, um... The 2 is only showing here on the back end, and 9 is showing on the right rear corner. That makes it look really weird. You've got this little bullet hole here, which kind of makes it look like it went through Grove Street. But I'm not going to say that much. I mean, the race version looks great. If you get a perfect race version, oh, hallelujah, you get yourself a great car. But the vibe was completely killed with this. I know my friend, my buddy Brian's gonna totally light it up in the comments. He's gonna light it up in the Skype chat. Yeah, I kind of get why he complains. I kind of do. Anyways, here's here's 360 view. Here's the right left side. Here's the front. Here's the top. I mean the hood. There's the right side. There's the back. Here's the top of the car. And here's the bottom. So, with the vibe being killed here, I do offer some solutions here. I think one is to not really focus on the deadline part of it. So I think they're under a lot of pressure from their sponsors and their, uh, their vendors and stuff. You know, you can't rush perfection. Either new staff needs to come into the factories or... They need to inspect them when they come in to the United States. I mean, I just think, you know... I mean, listen. 11 bucks, 11 bucks. I mean, come on. I, like I said before, I, I pay 80 bucks for these. You know, night and day, of course. You get $80, $80 versus $11. You get what you get. But money's money. And you got to stand up for what you... Not, what, what's the word I'm looking for? No. That's not the word I'm looking for. You kind of have to... What is the word I'm looking for? No, you really gotta, you really gotta purchase something that you're really passionate about. And I kind of wanted to collect this because this is part of my childhood. Unfortunately, my childhood meets my adulthood, which the quality control absolutely sucks. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Their quality control department is absolutely absent. This is why I really don't do 164 as much anymore. I do 143rds. Because the quality control is absolutely horrendous. I don't get it. I think it's wrong. I think it's kind of fucked up. But that's the world we live in, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. And, um... Yeah, if you're at Daytona, and if I'm not photographing... If I'm, like, not really in the photo mode... Please come say hello. I will be glad to have a conversation with you. Until then, this is Robbie saying goodbye, and I'll see you from sunny Florida.